Coinbase has announced an international exchange. Again, Coinbase has announced an international exchange. And I think many of us, you know, kind of saw this coming. Uh, so here we are today. And Coinbase has announced that it is going to, well, it has actually already launched an international cryptocurrency exchange. So Coinbase International Exchange will enable institutional users based in eligible jurisdictions outside of the United States. Again, this is an international exchange and it is going to enable institutional investors right outside of the US. And again, you know, I think we saw this coming you know, the SEC, well, there was notice, you know, Coinbase suing the SEC. And I think most of us kind of saw this coming. So, you know, it shouldn't be a surprise. And I think, you know, this is incredibly bearish uh, for, you know, US based uh, cryptocurrency companies. You know, I think regulators are really not helping. And I think we are going to see, you know, many more U.S. based cryptocurrency organizations, you know, establish outside of the United States. Uh, Coinbase is not the first one. You know, I believe we had a, another crypto, you know, exchange that recently, uh, you know, launched an international cryptocurrency exchange. And I think we are going to see many, many, many more. Uh, I would not be surprised you know, in the next couple of weeks or maybe in the next couple of months if Kraken you know, launches an international cryptocurrency exchange. Again, I think this is going to be a trend until, right, until you know, U.S. regulators are more friendly to crypto corporations. So do I think this is going to have an impact you know, on the price of Bitcoin and crypto assets? Uh, in the short term, you know, I don't think so. And I actually think you know, this is quite bullish uh, for the cryptocurrency market. And the reason I think this is quite bullish you know, for the cryptocurrency market is because this is exactly what you want to see, right? You want to see you know, Coinbase challenging Right, the establishment. Like you want to see Coinbase, you know, establishing, you know, crypto exchanges in you know other countries. What we don't want to see, you know, we don't want to see Coinbase giving up. Uh, we do not want to see, you know, Coinbase completely giving up, you know, because of you know tougher regulations in the US. You know, what we have to understand is that you know, crypto is global. And if crypto is not allowed in the United States, there is other countries, there is other countries that are going to welcome crypto with open arm. And as long as crypto is, you know, globally, you know, I don't think any of these institutions, you know, whether it's Coinbase, Kraken, uh, Gemini, or any US based institution, you know, I don't think they should put their hands up and give up, you know, just because the US is not crypto friendly. Again, there is other nations that are willing to welcome crypto. There are other nations, you know, that are willing to work with crypto companies and, and, and try to make it work. So I think this is bullish. Uh, it is bullish, you know, for Coinbase. It is bullish for the entire cryptocurrency market, but it is bearish for U.S. citizens. You know, this is very bearish for, you know, the regular, you know, U.S. clients. Like this is bearish for us because we are not going to be able to access, you know, Coinbase International Exchange because of you know, our regulators. And I think, you know, this is actually very important as we head into, 
the election season, you know, we crypto clients, you know, the people who are into the cryptocurrency industry, you know, we need to voice and we need to, you know, vote for people who are advocating for this industry. You know, the people that are not advocating for this industry, you know, I don't think we should be voting for you know, any of those guys. So the upcoming election, you know, should be very interesting. Uh, personally, you know, if a candidate is not advocating, you know, for the cryptocurrency industry, you know, I'm going to have to look elsewhere because, you know, there is absolutely no reason, right? There is absolutely no reason, you know, not to have this very important industry in this beautiful country. You know, we want the cryptocurrency industry to thrive in the U.S. We want this industry to thrive in the U.S. You know, this is an industry that is growing. It is going to solve, you know, some of the problems that we have in the banking system. So there is no reason, you know, not to punish. There is, uh, there is no reason to punish, excuse me, there is no reason to punish the industry and the people that are actually trying to make the industry work. You know, I think the industry should be regulated. You know, I do agree that the industry should be regulated, but it should not be punished. You know, it should not be punished. And speaking of, you know, U.S. banking, we will talk about, you know, what is happening in the U.S. in regards to, you know, the banking industry and why what's actually happening right now is the exact same reason, you know, why Bitcoin was created and why it is very bullish for Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market. But we have the White House proposing a 30% tax on electricity used for Bitcoin and crypto mining. The White House proposed 30% tax on electricity, you know, used to mine Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So the White House and the U.S. regulators are attacking, you know, the crypto industry from all angles. You have the regulators, you know, that are driving out uh, crypto corporations you know, outside of the U.S. You have the White House that is posing a 30% tax. This is a coordinated attack right here. And this is, this could potentially, this could potentially drive, you know, more crypto companies to go outside of the U.S. Like this right here is going to be another reason, you know, for more crypto cryptocurrency, you know, uh, for more, you know, corporations in the crypto industry to leave the U.S. This is not bullish right here. Like this is extremely bearish for the crypto industry in the U.S. You know, 30% tax, 30% uh, tax is absolutely ridiculous. This is ridiculous right here. And again, you know, it looks like a coordinated attack. You know, a lot of people have have been saying this, you know, for the last couple months. And, you know, I think it is becoming quite clear. You know, it is becoming quite clear that this is a coordinated attack on the crypto industry.